trials are real. It's mostly Spanish dudes in tights doing parkour on bikes. This looks like an expensive, dangerous, and exotic pastime. But it's weirdly the opposite. Cheap. These engines are built to climb, so they're built for torque, like a lawnmower or a KLR. Tuned looser than a double bass, and you can go 500 hours before thinking of your top end. It's a next owner kind of problem. The tires are built to stick, so they are built tubeless, meaning you'll run four PSI and fix flats precisely never. And the owner of this bike told me he checked his tires sometime last year. Silent ones have even lower cost of ownership, and range issues are no issue at trial speed. And yesterday I rode so I could hardly lift my beers. I still had 26% left. So while this looks fancy, it's actually the cheapest type of motorcycle. Easy. 150 pounds. My grandmother could stop you this thing, and she's dead. Twenty-five inches. My entire riding group can flat foot this thing, and they're five. Here's the design brief. I can make any body movement to maximal effect, while any motorcycle movement minimally affects my body. No long springs to buck me over the bars, no high seat to tip me into the ground. I couldn't invent a better learning tool. It forces me to find rest while standing, to find those body positions that don't fight the bike, but allow it to go where my throttle, clutch, and brakes command it to. And when you learn to not override a trial bike, it'll go anywhere. That's why trial pros are immediately advanced in other disciplines. They're experts at letting a motorcycle drive itself. So while this looks like an extreme machine, it's actually the easiest motorcycle to learn on. Accessible. You don't need a rock palace or a stadium of culvert pipes to play trials. You don't need anything. The sport of observed trials is simply trying some piece of terrain while being observed. If you put a foot down, you get a point. Lowest score wins. It's like golf, or that IQ test I aced. And you can use logs, pipes, gravel pits, skate parks, the price of Bitcoin. Anything you and your buddies find difficult to ride could be an observed trial. A rarity amongst two-wheel sports in that it's not a race. There are no dangerous speeds, no loud pipes, no earth-shredding slides. Ours is a game of preserving traction, a game of least requisite power. Which is why trial bikes have 2.5 liter sippy cups, and on a good day, I'll burn half that. Leaving a tiny footprint through the forest, one green line. There's no reason you couldn't draw it where hikers hike, or share terrain with sheep, horses, skateboarders, other animals. Except that it's misunderstood. 
and trials clubs are endangered because this looks expensive, difficult, and exotic. Land regulators paint them with other motorcycles, dangerous and disruptive. Fortunately, as we can now explain, trials are not what you think. Thank you very much for watching. And thanks to the Canada Pacific Trials Association for letting us film on their secluded and curated terrain. If you want to get into trials, then trialsbc.com is a beautiful place to start. Also thanks to Sean Bird and Alex Walton for showing us the stunning possibilities of this sport when elevated by passion and profession.